What's up, gamers? This is CDRON 1019 representing the Grand Star Legion, the New York Gamers Federation, and Chaos Control Channel. And I am super happy to be here today to bring you Star Fox 64. This is my all time favorite N64 game. I've played this several times over, I've lost count. Uh, I'm playing the Wii U version today, and I know that uh, tends to do a little. A few things with the um, with the sound quality, or not sound quality, pardon me, the uh, visual quality. So I've jacked up the brightness a little bit. Hopefully we get those colors to pop and provide a good experience for you today. Uh, the total play time, start to finish, is going to be about one hour. And we're going through the main uh, path for, not the main path, but the we're going for the actual true definitive ending to Star Fox 64. So strap yourselves in, grab your popcorn, sit back and relax, and let's play. Star Fox 64. Okay. We have our map here. Let's begin the Corneria War. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. All right. For those wondering, I'm playing with a Wii U Pro controller. Uh, it might it might take me a second to get my C buttons correct because uh, I got to remember there's a few intricate things about this game: boosting, somersaulting, braking, and U-turning. So uh, those all require knowing where your C buttons are. I, I don't happen to remember. I've played this on emulator several several times. Uh, so bear with me, but uh, we should have a good time here. Check your heat diffuser system. I love how you look inside the R wing and believe their head is there. Falco here. I'm fine. This is Peppy. All systems go. Flipping here. I'm okay. I'm okay. I see him up ahead. Let's rock and rock and roll. roll. All right, entering Corneria. Okay, that's not my boost. Where is my... Whoops, that's my somersault. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, I'm kind of off to a bad start. Get back here! Clippy, watch out! Don't be on your tail! Okay, there's my boost. Help me! Thanks, You're welcome. They had me. Okay, I I think I know where all my buttons are, so that's good. I only have to press one of them too. That's kind of helpful. So we've already got double lasers. Those laser upgrades are probably one of the most important things you can have in this game. When you have three laser upgrades, everything just kind of goes down easy. It's pretty insane. Everybody, stay alert. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's. Okay, so I might... <laughs> I'm a little... I'm not used to playing on this system, so this might look a little weird to some people. We're going to get the second laser upgrade here. And we're on triple lasers now. Two gold rings. On the third gold... Whoop. Uh, where's my... Oh, okay, now I remember. <laughs> There's my somersault. Three gold rings gives us a health boost. And it doesn't... It resets after every level. Not entirely certain why. Falco's gonna get in trouble here. I'll take this. Get the one behind me. And we're gonna boost to try and save him because the longer we something's wait, wrong something's wrong with his G diffuser system. We're not entirely sure what happened there, but the longer we wait, the more... Yeah, you should. The longer we wait there, the uh, more health he's gonna lose. And Falco's kind of the ace pilot of the team, so we really don't want that to happen to him. He's probably the most competent flyer here. Ah, uh, Peppy with the advice. Knock these out. We're gonna try and... Whoop! Nope, miss that. I don't know if you... Any, well, alright. So, anyway. So, some people don't know that there are two ways to complete every mission. There's a mission accomplished route and a mission complete route. Pretty smooth flying. To get the mission accomplished route in Corneria, you have to dr uh, fly through all six of these arcs here. Follow me, fuck! And then Falco will call us to follow him. Saying he's got a lock on the actual target. Where are you going? So if you don't do that, you can still get a mission complete instead of a mission accomplished. 
but it'll be a totally different enemy target. It won't be the one you were actually trying to follow. And that'll set us on a different route. And we don't want that, because that basically will... Hey, Einstein, I'm on your phone! <laughs> Oops. Gotcha. Uh, that'll set us off to fight the fake Andross at the end of the game, and that's no point. Bueno. Ah, Someone want wants to play. play. Incoming enemy from the rear! Drop altitude! Slippy, we, as, as annoying as he is, we don't want Slippy to go down either because he's the one that analyzes the enemy shield. No him, no boss meter. And we're just gonna mash like hell here. We've got uh, we've got all three laser upgrades, so we that means we can get these arms to go down relatively quickly, actually. And once all those arms are gone, we can start mashing at the actual enemy unit. And hit them even really far away, too. And he's down. One more for good measure. <laughs> cool thing about that, too, is that uh, uh, actually killing him is a 10 plus on your score. So, mission accomplished. So that basically means that we got uh, 100 for the level. Whenever you get over 100 for a level, you get a light, and that's kind of cool. And when you play the game as much as I have, you, that means you rack up a bunch of lives. I'm fine. You okay over there, Fox? It's actually interesting to see how, uh, when they're not doing okay, how uh, different their lines change. Falco can be totally damaged, and when you ask for a report, they'll go, "You see my ship." Does it look okay to you? Alright, we're out of Corneria, and we're heading towards Sector Y. As opposed to the Meteor Field, or to the Asteroid Belt, which we definitely don't want to go into, Sector Y is definitely the more preferred path here. Fox, we're under attack. Help us out here. I'm on my way. Alright. Fierce Melee. So, at this point, the um, the Cornerian army, which has is all those really big ships, they're they're under attack by these uh, these Gundam-looking Andross robots, and we as Team Star Fox are coming in to take uh, take the heat off of the squadron. Back up the squadron. So our two gold rings carried over. Somebody's gonna pay for all this. So that's kind of cool. One gold ring, and we'll get an immediate health boost. And there's one right there. Something's wrong. I don't see anything. Best advice for this level: shoot everything. Well, I mean, maybe not everything, everything, but shoot. Uh, try to take down. Uh, you know, take down as many enemy units as you can. Them. To There's going to be about five of them that are going to come up here. You can lock onto all of them. Sometimes you don't have to, though. And then we got all those up there. Did we get them all? Good God. Keep up yes, the we did. All right, so that means we're doing good. We're on pace to get into the mission accomplished on this mission. If we were doing poorly, Falco would say, Fox, you're supposed to shoot them all. That's not good. We can shoot those turrets. We've got people coming behind me, so let's somersault. And there's five so units that we can knock out. Whoop, checkpoint. Alright, All right, so we're right about where we want to be for the checkpoint of the mission. We don't have to get to 100 by the time we get to the end of it. I'll take care of everything below. All right, so now interesting. Whoops, sorry, Falco. Interesting thing about that part of the mission. I don't know if going up or down is random. Escaping? I don't think so. But I'm just looking. Leave me alone. 
Oh, Slippy. So as I was saying, I don't know if um, if Peppy's saying he's going to take the top or the bottom route is um, is random every time you play that. Obviously, if uh, Peppy says he'll take everything down, then Slippy will get into trouble. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Yeah, yeah. Take him down with one shot. We're gonna break through that fleet. Are we on pace? You're becoming a better pilot. All right, we're doing. That means we're doing good. Uh, if we were doing badly, hey, Einstein, <laughs> oh my God, Falco keeps getting in my way. If we were doing poorly, uh, Falco would say, uh, <laughs> Falco would say, uh, Fox, you're, or, is that the best you can do? We actually, we're close to the end right now, and we're actually at 100, so we're doing really good here. There's only one way you can get mission accomplished on this mission, and that's by shooting down 100 units or getting a score of 100. Seeing that we're already at 100 and we have three units to fight here, both, uh, all three are two of them with a bonus value of 5 and one with a value of 10. We're uh, definitely more than on point. Ow. Ow. I don't want to get hit too much either because sometimes you can get hit and that'll lose your laser bonus. Jeez. Uh, oh, Whoa, hey, what happened there? Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, so I can't. Don't use the the Z trigger or the ZR. Uh, I was using ZR to try and to try and turn. Okay, so we got those units, and now we got the master master uh, Andros Gundam unit right here. He's gonna go down pretty quick. Pro tip about um. Whoops. Ow. Pro tip about uh, flying in all range mode: uh, if when you're trying to turn somewhere, if you uh, if you uh, roll to the not roll, but if you uh, pitch to the left or to the right when you're turning, it'll help your left or right turn go faster. And I just lost my laser upgrades because I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. That's okay though. <laughs> all right. We're just going to have to watch out to make sure we get some more laser upgrades in the next mission. Or two, that's fine. We're totally on pace. Ship's a little damaged, but that's fine. Mission accomplished. We're heading for Auckland. Report in. There you go. Your skills have improved, Fox. I guess you're, I guess good, you're for good for something. something. Can you tell I played this game too many times? All right, that gave us uh, we hit 115 units that time. Slippy's doing Slippy's not doing too great, but that's okay. He'll uh, he'll heal up by next mission. I'm not roll lean. Lean is the word I was looking for. Lean to the left or right when you're turning to do a quicker left or right turn, and that's important to know for stuff like that. Okay, so, you heard Fox say we're headed for Aquas. When he says that, that means you're good, that means you got a mission accomplished. Problem is, we're not going to Aquas. We're going to Katina. And Katina is quite possibly my favorite mission in this game. Katina is battling the enemy. Will you help him out? Affirmative, General. Katina is really cool because, uh, uh, for a number of reasons. Reunion. First of all, Katina is a full all uh, all range mode level, so it's not a linear path like the rest, like some of the other levels are, which kind of makes it fun. There's a lot of things to shoot down. <laughs> Sorry, Peppy. <laughs> and uh, Bill's here, so uh, we reunite with Bill. Is that you? I can't believe it. All right, so we can catch up later, Fox. Some people don't like this level because it's really easy to shoot. It can be kind of easy to shoot down. Uh, Hard to tell the good guys from the bad. Right, the good units from the bad units. Um, but what uh, what they don't tell you is that you actually cannot lock onto the good units. So as long as you don't shoot your lasers like a madman, you uh, you'll just take down good units, bad units. Just no the end time. of these guys. Alright, we're already 10 units in, so now the mothership is on the way. 
I'm looking I'm looking for a laser upgrade I can use on Desperate League. I've actually <laughs> it's actually I'm actually playing kind of poor for a game that I love so much. I've never usually lose my laser upgrade that fast. Whoops. Yes, yes, I know. Alright, so see that time he got in the way of my my charge shot. Uh, that, that happens. Um, what's also kind of fun about this level is that sometimes you can charge on, or you can lock onto a unit that um, Falco, Peppy, Slippy, or Bill are targeting, and you can essentially steal the target that they're trying to they're trying to shoot down. And it's kind of fun when that happens. All right, so the and the mothership's over the base. It's not going to stay there for a little while. It's going to release a bunch more units. We're going to shoot a bunch of them down, and then we're going to attack them. Here they come. Ow! <laughs> the heck hit me! Go for the four hatches on the underside! Hey, see if I help you again! <laughs> this, um... This level's just a lot of fun for a number of reasons to me. Um, it's also kind of... Okay, so the hatches are open, so I'm going to get some distance, and then I'm going to turn around and try to get to those, uh, shoot down one of the hatches. Alright, one of them's broken. Um, sometimes, in, in, in some of the old days when I used to emulate this a lot, um, Peppy, Peppy would fly into me, and then, oh, see, I just took one from Slippy. <laughs> Peppy would take one from me and then say, hey, watch where you're, he, he would fly into me and then say, hey, watch where you're flying. Computer's fault, so kind of funny. Just a few quirks that way. All right, we didn't break it. Uh, hatch that time, but that's all right. Bulldog, you don't let anything through. I won't let you get away from me. I could use a laser upgrade. Ow. The hatches are open! Whoops. Oh, wrong bumper. There we go. Scratch one foot. Ow! Alright, so Rod's sending us some supplies. Let's see if we can see what he's got in the box. You're not getting away that easy! Is the laser upgrade that helpful? Yes, it is! Alright, so we're back at double lasers. That helps tremendously. Believe me, I have fought Andros with single lasers before, and boy, is it bad. It's terrible. In fact, what's what's particularly fun for me, though, is that um, the last time I played this, I got to Andros uh, with triple lasers and an extremely low amount of health, and I still managed to beat him. And so that was a uh, that was a that was a high point for me. Don't let anything through. Yes, that's good for you, Slippy. I'm very proud of you. Okay, we're gonna turn. And we're gonna see if we can nail this last hatch. Nope, missed it. That's okay, though. Oh, whatever, I just saved you. I'm trying to keep the, um, the mothership in view once you knock down a bunch of them. See, that's going to happen. And now, there we go. Got it. All right. There's some sort of energy reaction. All right. So now we're going to turn around. Stand by to attack. Uh, there's. That's my somersault. Where's my U-turn? Take out that core. Oh, okay. I went out of bounds, so I U-turned anyway. That's fine. And now we're going to. We're going to aim at that energy core in the middle of the mothership. We'll use a bomb too, why not? And it's down. And just like Independence Day, the mothership goes down. Failing that mission will still get you a mission... Whoops, my bad. We'll still get you a mission complete, but uh, completing it in the way like we just did, get you a mission accomplished. And I love this, I love the end scene here because you actually get to see all of Bill's units here. And he's got a bunch of them, and him and Bill and Star Fox say their goodbyes, and then they leave. Take care, Fox. 
You too, Bill. The less of them you shoot down, the more of them are on that screen, so that's kind of cool. And then we leave. All right. With that mission accomplished, we're on to the next zone. To Solar. That area's an oven. Don't go burning that R wing. Be reasonable, Fox. I'll be careful. So a lot of people actually don't like this mission. I actually like it a lot. Um, so this is a very hot level. Um, and I, I I mean that quite literally. The level is very warm. Uh, it's so warm that it constantly damages the R wing, and it'll damage it even more the lower you fly. Uh, but what's cool about this level is that there are a ton of silver rings to replenish your, uh, your health. Keep an eye on your shield gauge. Or your shield gauge, rather. And that kind of makes it interesting. And what's really cool is that if you get a mission accomplished on Tina, we're going to see Bill again. This baby can take temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Don't fly too low. Your ship can't take it. And you're not the only one constantly getting damaged, either. Uh, Peppy, Slippy, and Falco are also getting damaged. But interesting thing about them, they only get damaged as long as they're talking to you. So, looks like you could use some help. Bob. And Bill's back. Bill. Yes, thank you, Bill. Here we go. I needed that laser upgrade. So we just want to shoot the rocks all the time. Shooting the rock counts as an enemy unit. Watch yourself, Fox. There's a lot of these creatures that belong to this planet. We're going to also nab some extra bombs. I don't use a whole lot of bombs. I kind of save them for, um... I save them for, for Andros, and you'll understand why. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. What'd you give us, Rob? Another bomb. Go figure. And you can only hold up to nine bombs, so we've already got eight. We can only hold one more. Danger, buddy. Go away! Whoops. Hey, Einstein, oh, jeez. Wow, that was actually tremendously bad. Um, usually I'm pretty, I'm better at saving Falco there. Uh, I actually kind of damaged him a bunch, uh, which is not going to bode well on the next level. But that's all right. We'll see how we do. He shouldn't get real. He really shouldn't get damaged much further on this zone. And he'll get healed. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Another bomb. Gee, thanks, Rob. You're the best. Yes, I'm being facetious. I could have used I could have used just about anything else at that point instead of a bomb. But he gave us a bomb anyway. Ouch. And with that, we found the enemy bioweapon. This is the enemy bioweapon? And we're gonna immediately try and shoot out his arms. Data analysis complete. Here it comes. Maybe it's an arm. Aim for the arm. <laughs> Just because Peppy tells us something we already know. You can hit him from far away too, it's just kind of a lot harder. And then, once you got both arms down, we can go for the head. Hey, thanks. I needed some help. Here they come! Just mash like hell. And you're done. You did it! And pop goes the head. Mission accomplished. We've... So, I'm actually not certain if there's a mission complete on that level. If there is, I've never seen it. I've always knocked out the bioweapon, so I, I know that there's uh, always a mission accomplished there. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. Now, Falco's pretty damaged, so I think he's gonna say... See my ship? 
Doesn't it look okay to you? Yep. <laughs> That's okay. Health go uh, Falco's got a little bit of a health boost. Um, he doesn't get too damaged in the next mission, so as long as we uh, play this mission competently, he'll feel better in no time. Sometimes it's fun to knock your partners out, but I really don't want to do that um, specifically for a certain mission. Okay. Another point of contention about this game is the planet Beth. So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox. It'll be a piece of cake, General. And it's particularly because this is one of the few Landmaster levels. Um, not everybody's fond of the Landmaster, but I gotta tell you, this mission is just a lot of fun for me, just be just because of, uh, probably because of the train and because of how this mission ends. So, um, there, I mean, this is another mission with a mission complete and a mission accomplished. We're gonna, if, if we play this right, which most of the time I do, we're gonna get a mission accomplished. I've got, I've got this level down to a, to a science, so we're gonna see how this goes. Test here. I'm gonna try and knock out some of the train, just for some extra points. They're not taking me serious. So most of the t most of this level, um, the guys in the air are gonna fight. Uh, they're gonna shoot out, out the other enemies in the air, and we can kind of leave them alone for the most part. But this is one of the parts of the level where the camera kind of specifically pans upward, which is basically trying to tell you, hey, shoot these guys in the air. They're gonna just circle each other. And there we go. I'm gonna do a quick. Uh, all right, that's my roll. Whoop! Right, not that. Sorry. Okay, there we go. That's how I hover. I just need to remind myself of that because hovering is actually really important on this level. How's the land master, Fox? Really great, Slippy. Thanks for asking. I'm gonna try and boost ahead here. Try hovering. Try to make up some lost ground. And there's the train again. There's a ring. We can hover to get that ring. Detached like so. Vehicle. All right, he's detaching the rear vehicle, which is leaving that. Uh, leaving this uh, turret there to kind of shoot at me, uh, which actually managed to hit me. Another interesting thing about this, uh, getting hit here does not knock out your triple lasers for your R-Wing. There are no laser upgrades for the Landmaster. Falco's going to get in trouble here. Boom, you're safe. Mm -hmm. Ow. Okay, we're gonna zoom ahead of this turret here. Now we're behind uh, kind of uh, most of the forever train here. And this is where you really have to know how to hover. You gotta hover over these things, they will hurt a lot. Yes, thank you. I already knew that. And as you get closer to the train, you can knock out these, these, uh, these rail vehicles. There's a fuel bunker inside. Well, not that one. One of these. That one, I think. And we got to hover to hit this checkpoint, and we're gonna knock that out. And we're gonna boost a little up here. We can shoot some of these to open them up. I'll go around it because I don't need it. This one I'm gonna kind of boost to. Whoops! Oh, that was a bad decision. All right, but that's okay. Okay, how's everybody doing? You having fun? Great, because this is where this gets a little, a uh, little serious. So there's eight switches here to open the lock, and I'm gonna count them in an order I always count them. There's one, there's two, there's four, there's three. There's eight of them, we've already hit half of them. It's important we hit all eight of them because that's the only way to get a mission accomplished on this mission. The five, the other way is to defeat that boss there, but we're not gonna. We're gonna let the boss kill itself. I'm happy to show you how. We've already got five. Oh, come on. There's six. Falco is alive, so he's gonna knock those down for us. He's gonna be a bro. Seven. Alright, we got all eight of them. And why is that important? Well, here's the switcher. Whoop! Right there, and boom. By hitting those eight locks and then hitting that switcher. We have instantly killed this level's boss for a bonus of a whopping 50 points. 
And the base goes boom. Like I said, that's the only way to get a mission accomplished on this uh, on this level, and it's very important. It's a very it's a great way to do it because that boss is actually kind of a pain trying to shoot it down by itself. I don't think it's worth 50 shooting it down that way, and that'll get you a mission complete, and you won't destroy the supply depot. So, yeah, it's kind of better that we did it this way. All right, Falco's doing a lot better now. And we've got a whopping nine lives. As we redock in the great box. Okay, so... Um, I'm not so certain this is a point of contention for many, but right before Venom, there's these two levels. There are, uh, blah, 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 if I can speak today. There are the Venom Air Defense Zone, and there's the Venom Satellite. The Venom Satellite's called the Last Hurrah, and that's, uh, for a lot of people, a particularly irritating level for some. It's very hard to fly in that level, and then Star Wolf appears. And uh, that doesn't make the level any better. Then there's a lot of enemies, and then there's a core, which is really hard to shoot down. We're not going to go that way. We're going to go for a different level. We're going to go through the Venom Air Defense Zone, uh, which by some... It's almost over. We're in your debt. Come back in one piece, Fox. Will do, General. For some people, this level's arguably harder. I'm not certain, but that's probably because I've played it so many times. Came in here. No problem. Like I said, so the Venom Satellite's called the Last Hurrah, and this one's called Through the Middle. Emergency maneuver. As in, we're flying straight into the Venom Defense Army. So, in retrospect, not really a fantastic idea. But, uh, you know, for the way we're trying to get to Venom, Entering it works. Everybody stay alert. They find the head. All right, we're going to knock out some... Oops. Oh, that was badly handled. Alright. We can knock out these, like, satellites here. Whoa, Falco! Alright, Falco's okay. You want to make sure you got your hand on a trigger on this level, because you got to be prepared for, uh... To do some barrel rolls. Hold still and let me shoot you. <laughs> Falco's having a little bit of a hard time. Great, Great Fox, we'll cover, we'll cover you. you. So this is cool because Great Fox helps and shoots down some of these enemies too, so we're not alone. A lot of shootable light of objects in this level. Alright, this part's particularly annoying. There's a couple of missiles here. You can avoid them, but we're going to want to shoot them down, too. Okay, we're good. Oh, or not. I still caught the splash of one of them. Did we get them? Not yet, sir. They're on me. I'm getting killed. What's taking you so long, Fox? Oh, Peppy, I just saved you. Oh, wow. Oh, good, a gold ring. That helps. Ow. Ow. Alright, this butterfly we definitely want to knock out because uh, not only is its attack a little annoying, but you kill it, you drop that gold ring, giving us a much needed health boost. Ooh, I feel better, and there's three of them, it looks like. And then, hey, look at that. There's the healing checkpoint. That's a uh, good thing to see right now. All right, first line of defense is breached. We're going to break through that fleet. Through 
the second line! Second line's breached. Great box will cover you. Barrel rolling, in case I didn't go over it before, will negate any any enemy laser shot at you. Very helpful technique. Venom's right there! You're welcome. Another bomb. Gee, thanks, Rob. I missed it because I didn't even need it. The last line has been breached. These guys are crazy. Okay, so Dang. deploy it now. We made it all the way here with all three enemy uh, partners intact, which helps because then, albeit barely, but that means that. Uh, we were so close to Venom. We get the uh, enemy shield analysis on this boss, which is not pleasant for a lot of people. But we've got triple lasers, and we're gonna make quick. We're gonna make somewhat quick work of this boss. Yeah, it's working. So once that happens, you gotta shoot these uh, tentacle arms to get the hatch to open back up again. Whoops. Come on. There we go. And we want to shoot down these missiles, too, because these, um, they can sometimes drop gold rings that will be really helpful or something else. Uh, silver rings are, are particularly useful here. Just be very careful about not shooting down your partners, which will absolutely do sweet FA on this level. Whoops! Oh, that's particularly bad. <laughs> Alright, that's going to make everything harder on me in the next zone. I just shot down Falco and Slippy. Uh, so, we're gonna see how this works next next level. Uh, I'll explain what that means for me in a minute. Because that's particularly bad. So, and Peppy's not doing great either. Uh, so, we'll see how this works. Oh, jeez, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, I'm really upset about that, actually. Okay, so... We've got it down to the red level, and if you're not, if you don't know what's going to happen, it opened up. There's no energy balls there, so we have actually want to go up to this right corner to, to avoid this attack. You really want to avoid that because that attack is devastating. Okay, we don't have a shield analysis, but I'm pretty certain I know what I'm doing here, and we're going to get to work right away. These balls are the ones that are hard to catch. All right, and we're going to get them. The firing button until it goes down. All right, with Peppy by our side, the others from the docking bay, and Peppy at very low health, we're heading right into Venom. Mission accomplished. Alright, Peppy's got somewhat of a decent health boost, so we might be okay. Uh, here we go. Hold on, we're entering Venom airspace. So, the downside to taking the path that we're taking is that we get right to, we get right to the entrance Stay to Andross's there, chamber, Androd. but we're met with Star Wolf and his fleet of Wolfen t Mark II. These Wolfen are much harder than fighting Star Wolf normally. Uh, Star Wolf all of a sudden knows how to somersault. And this is particularly bad for me because Peppy's the only one alive right now, which means that three of these ships are going to be on me this whole time. But I've still got a uh, triple laser, so let's see if we can make some quick work of this. They know how to barrel roll, too. Oop. Somersault, somersault, there we go. Alright, there's Andrew. Andrew's down. I'll take care. Alright, Peppy just went down, but that's okay. I can knock all these guys out by myself. Real good. I'll take care of you. Locking onto them does really no good in this fight because they will just uh, 
they will, uh, they'll just barrel roll. I've got to somersault a lot because they constantly get on my tail here. Oh, and I went out of bounds. Oh, Pigma. <laughs> they, sometimes they'll shoot at each other, that's kind of fun. Come on. Alright, there's Leon. That gave me a health boost, I really needed that. Wolf is almost down. See, they're just kind of circling around me here. Pigma, come on! Be a bro! All right, Pigma's down, and there's Wolf. Okay. So, Fox will usually tell the crew he's gonna. I'll go it alone from here. He's going it alone here. He kind of has to. He's got no other choice. It's all coming down to this. Oh wow! I'm actually, I actually never hear him say that line. But that's partially because I've usually got at least somebody still alive. Normally, someone else will just yell Fox, but. That's kind of cool. I've never heard him say that line before, so I'm glad you got to experience that with me today. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. Uh, so, another neat tidbit. This, um... Know that this I chamber know entry that sequence that is different than the bad ending chamber entry it's sequence. Foolish to come against me. Now you you can go left, right on some of these paths. You'll still get to Andross's chamber. The only benefit to, to taking different paths is that you might get some different power-ups. I've got everything I need. And, oh my god, it's a face! Alright, we're going to shoot down these hands. We've got triple lasers, so we should make somewhat quick work of these hands. Dodge. One hand down. You can shoot his eyes, too, to irritate him. Irritate them, it'll... Kinda get some pressure off ya. And we use the bomb to stop the suction. Alright, the hands are gone, we're gonna shoot down the face. Hmm, that's weird. That was surprisingly easy. Oh my god, it's a brain! So, Androd, you show your true form. Yes indeedy, ladies and gentlemen. So, in case you've seen the other ending where you fight the Andros robot, gaze upon Andros's actual true form. He is not, in fact, that robot that you defeated on the bad ending. He is this brain with detachable eyes. So, we're going to shoot down these um, these uh, eyes here. It's an interesting thing to note, um, because Star Fox is alone here, even if uh, Slippy was still alive, we still wouldn't get a, um, uh, a shield gauge. So we're gonna go, we're, we're essentially, no matter how we do this, we're always going into this level blind. Alright, so, there's the eyes, the brain is all that's left, uh, and, uh, if you hate having nightmares, I got bad news for you, this brain's kinda gonna chase us around. So, this brain is mostly invincible to, um, to most shots, but it's got a weak zone. A weak zone that it tries to hide, and that's that green kinda area right there. So, let's see, so... Now it's going to try and follow us around. And... Oh, that, that might be bad. That might be very bad. Oh, okay, we're good. So that brain's going to follow. It can teleport to. It's going to try and get behind you. And when it does, we want to somersault right over it and try and see if we can hit that soft spot right on that lobe right there. And there we did. We just did a little bit of damage. If we teleported away, we're going to try and spin around. A little quick. Nope, oh, it's going to teleport again. If you keep this up, you can get some good damage on the brain. Whoa, hey, that was a little dangerous. Oh, I'm turning the wrong way. Alright, so I'm going to straighten out. And somersault right over him so it can't grab me. Uh, I, I gotta tell you, when the brain grabs you, it's kind of the stuff of nightmares. It's pretty, it's pretty creepy. Alright, we're going to turn again. We're actually doing really good on this fight. In fact, he's going to go down any second. There he goes. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. Ah! 
So Andros is defeated and we die? That can't be right. That just doesn't feel good, yeah? Don't ever give up, my son. James? You're alive? Father? Well, this doesn't seem right. Alright, time to follow James McLeod and exit the exploding chamber. Alright, so when you do this part, it's very important. It's very important to stay close to James McLeod because if you let him get away and you don't see which path he's turning on, you will turn down an exploding corridor, and um, that's uh, that's not good for anybody. And uh, it's especially not good if we want to see... Whoops, don't hit the wall either. We're trying to see if we can get a deathless run here. Ow. Oh, that's bad! Wow, that's a shame. I I was really trying to make sure that didn't happen. Follow me, Fox. Well, you gotta be careful. You hit a wall and it, it immediately turned me down the wrong path. And I've lost everything cool about my chip. But that's okay. We're, we're literally at the end of the game. That's why we got all these extra lives. Ah, uh, I'm... I'm... I'm actually really upset about that. <laughs> I am super upset that I let that happen. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Stay very close to him. Whoops. And there's the exit. I think I was one turn away. You've become so strong, Fox. And that's it. We out. This game always kind of lags there. Mission accomplished. Normally, Falco, Peppy, Slippy would be here to, to say, hey, they're happy to see you, but they're not here. Kind of sad. Fox is looking around for James, doesn't see him. Usually, Peppy here would say, what's wrong, Fox? And Fox would say, nothing, nothing's wrong, but he's not going to talk to anybody, so that's uh, it's a little sad. But hey, we did it. We saved the universe. I'm gonna put the controller down, and I'm gonna let this uh, I'm gonna let this credit sequence play out, so we can all uh, we can all witness the end of the game together, and so that we can see how much money we made. Yes, Star Team Star Fox does make money for saving the universe. They are a mercenary group. It's what they do. So let's uh, let's watch these credits together and see how much Star Fox made for saving the galaxy. Da uh, so, I guess I'll talk a little bit about version differences here for really quick. So, I was playing the Wii U version this time, and the Wii U version... Wii U version is actually pretty fast. It runs uh, very fast, very smooth and stable uh, compared to other versions. And while that sounds like a good thing, that means that sometimes uh, the Wii U can totally eat your input. So, you got to be careful about that. Um, I had to think about this really hard when deciding when I wanted to record from the Wii version or the Wii U version. The Wii version had a brighter color palette, but had some moments where it just lags, uh, unexplainably. I absolutely was not going to record for an N64, because that, um, even though that's the original copy, the N64 hardware is not great at even playing its own game. Uh, so I really wanted to make sure that I recorded from this Wii U in sweet, glorious high def, or as high def as I could possibly get, to give you guys a good show here. Our total playtime is right around 49 minutes, so, yeah. So we're in Corneria City. Banners are flying because we saved the galaxy. We saved Corneria. This great fox flies in. Prepares to come in for a landing, too.
Peppy's mouth. What's going on here? With that mouth. Starbuck, we are in your debt. I would be honored to have you as part of the Cornarian. Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Great Fox is ready to go. It's time for us to go now. And that's it. Star Fox is invited to be part of the Cornerian fleet. They turn them down, preferring to work as a mercenary unit. And then they run into the sunset. For no inexplicable reason. They run into the sunset. I'm not even joking about this. They are running right now in God knows where. And this is the part that's going to blow your mind. They are not running to the Great Fox. I know. Weird, right? They are just running. Running to nobody knows where. We don't even know if they're on their way to their next mission. We don't understand how they possibly could be. They said the Great Fox was ready to go. But they're not headed to the Great Fox. And I know this because there it is. It's taken off without them. Like... What's up with that, right? I mean, are you trying to tell me you parked your R wing so far away? Like, what gives? Why did you even fly your R wings in? They're supposed to be docked in the Gray Fox. I guess these questions are better left unanswered, huh, ma'am? And they all fly into the distance knowing that they actually defeated the real Andros. Not the robot Andros, but Andros. They know that they defeated the real Andros as evidenced by the lack of a question mark at the... at, uh... after the D on the end. Nineteen nine to seven. The end. Almost a thousand hits. That's pretty good, actually. See? No question mark. All right, how much did we make? Oh, I guess we can I guess we can rank in first. Why not? First next to Fox. This is one steep build, but it's worth it. For saving the galaxy, we made 63,296 credits. Like, really? We saved the galaxy and that's all we get? I What's the conversion rates on credits to dollars? Oh well. Signed. And that's it, folks. Thank you for joining me on uh, my Star Fox 64 journey. I hope you enjoyed yourself. There's more videos for me to come. So in the meantime, stay tuned to everything that comes your way and the Grand Star Legion. Happy gaming, folks. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. For more awesome gameplay videos, check out the Grand Star Legion YouTube channel. More awesomeness awaits you. For more Grand Star Legion and YouTube Rangers fun, check out the YTR forums. Official YTR.com slash forums. Hey, I'm CDROM1019, and if you haven't had enough gameplay from me, check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. See you there.